So while I'm not an educator myself, I came out today to show support for educators, like my daughter's teacher. Uh, my dad was also a teacher for his entire career at Oklahoma City Public Schools, and I grew up knowing that funding was lacking even back then. And it seems like now, when it's, uh, when it's maybe more important than ever, there's just not the emphasis put on education that needs to be put on education. And I, you know, we brought our daughter to public school and put her in public school on purpose, it was intentional specifically for Oklahoma City Public Schools because we wanted to see it get better. And I think this is just part of making it better. Okay, so what message are you hoping that this sends to the legislators? I, you know, I think it's fantastic that last week they passed the, the raise for the teachers, and I want to tell them thank you for that. But I think the message today needs to be that it's not enough. Like, you can't just give the teachers extra pay. You need to be able to fund the schools so that they have money for paper and money for toners and money for art teachers and science teachers. You're an education major at OU? Yeah, I'm an early childhood education major, so that's primarily pre-K through third grade. Um, you can get a dual degree where you can go for a higher um, grade if you want to. Um, I'm thinking about switching majors, but I'm really passionate about education, so I don't want to. But it's obviously an issue. So, so like, what would be your plans if, if, the, if the teacher pay stays where it's at right now? Like, what, what are your plans? I mean, I don't want to switch because I'm really, really passionate about it. Um, I want to teach kids who don't speak English. I want to teach them English primarily. Um, I don't specifically have a plan if it if it doesn't happen, but um, I mean, I'm I'm walking because I was I was educated by people in Norman literally for 18 years, so I don't know. It's just it's really important. So yeah. Okay. So uh, would you ever think about leaving the state? I don't want to, no. Um, they actually have you sign uh, an agreement to teach in Oklahoma for four years after you graduate, um, <laughs> uh, just so that you'll stay, I think. Uh, I've had three people, three of my friends have graduated from the program at OU and they moved to Texas because it's just, I mean, it's a drastic increase. So, so you're out here to support the teachers? I'm here to stand for public education and our rights to be funded, fully funded, and uh, to have no more fear in the classroom, to be able to teach every day with supplies, and to have our voices heard because our funding is already being repealed and before the ink ever dried on the paper. And we are here to stand up for education. And I've taught for 26 years in the state of Oklahoma and I have a daughter who's going to be a uh, student teacher in the fall, and I'm fighting for her, my grandson, and all the other kids that need to be educated in Oklahoma. Can you talk about kind of the hardships of being a teacher, and like what's frustrating about that? Well, um, we don't have supplies. We have copy limits. Um, I had a GoFundMe, a, 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 not a GoFundMe, but a Donors Choose account and um, it was the last day that it was going to be open before it closed and Ripple, the Ripple company, I prayed for a miracle and the Ripple company funded our donors chooses for 29 million in this country and that was really giving me hope that we could do this and we could stand up for education because my project was fun and it was a printer for my classroom because I'm tired of running out of copies. I need those copies for my students for extra work and to keep them going and I just think teachers are they're worn out and uh, we don't have curriculum um, at our schools and we had to do without that. Oklahoma City took a 30 million dollar cut last, last year and we can't sustain cuts like that anymore. We can't teach. We got to teach. I'm with the American Federation of Teachers and uh, we're trying to stand strong and fight for education. We need education in this country. It is the uh, crown jewel of our country is education we need to fight for it and uh, that's why we're here today okay. what message do you think this big group of people can give to our government we want education we love education and we want public education strong 
We don't want to weaken. We need, we need um, funding. We need good funding sources, solid funding sources. And all these teachers are here to demonstrate that they are strong. This is a teacher brought strike. We brought this. We brought, we brought the walkout because the teachers are worn out. They're working so hard for your kids and, and all of our kids and they're spending their own money. And we just can't do it anymore. But thank God, you know, we got a country where we can stand up for what's right and, and be here in numbers. The people brought their kids, entire schools have come. So it's just, it's emotional and it's, it's but it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing.